This, my friends, is the hit draft opening for Week 6 TSB NFL Fantasy Football. We got Box 6 of Spectra. Whoops, I moved the camera. We got Box 6 here of Spectra that we just picked out. Can you believe it? And we'll do one of these uh, Gridiron Kings. We'll let Grammy pick it. Hey, Grammy, pick one of these Gridiron Kings, left or right. Okay, there you go. So that's the Grammy box. So now we're going to open these up. There's going to be two hits in here. There's laundry tags in here. Laundry tags. Something else cool in here. Prime laundry tags. Nike swoosh. That's what it is. Let's get a Nike swoosh and a super fractor from freaking Spectra. What do you say? I was going to say I miss John H. coming in and saying... How many you got left in Spectra? I'll take 10. Get spoiled with that. <laughs> got it, Grammy. So let's see what the Grammy box finds. Welcome back, Grammy. I'm really, really, really happy. I mean, you could imagine what it's like seeing a text. I had, you know, I don't like to say it, but I see your text. It says, I had a heart attack, mate. It's like, what? So, man, Grammy, I know I speak for everybody. Welcome back, dude, because it was not, it's weird not seeing you in chat, you know what I mean? It's like we can feel you in chat when you talk and, so, TSB family welcomes you back on behalf of me and all of them. Now, stay healthy, okay? Follow the doctor's orders. I know we're men, we think we rule, and we're indestructible, but we're not. You betcha. You sound like you're in Minnesota. That's how we talk in Minnesota up here. Looking for the hits, guys. Looking for the hits. Yeah, Grammy, I mean, I bet when you, you know, it's like when you got sick, you're probably thinking, like, what's going on in collecting world with all your other collecting friends and Twitter and other forums you're in and breakers. Looking for the hits. Looking for the hits or black one of ones in this. Anything wacky happen in the debates tonight? Not that I care one flying F about politics. It's more of entertainment to me, and I like sales, so I like to watch the different sales jobs these guys are doing on the world, on the country. Sketches and swatches, first hit. Nice. Jalen Strong, nasty patch. 28-49. I'm going to put a little something into this week's I'm going to put a little something into this week's hit drafts for you guys cuz I love you. I love you guys. Maybe that sounds a little weird. I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> I love you, man. I always say if it weren't for you guys, I just would I don't know what I'd be doing. Sitting here feeling crappy. No one in chat. No stuff to break. Thousands of dollars of products sitting around here. Wife going, who's going to pay for the nanny this month? You or me? I'm tired of paying for it. I, you sit down there and open cards. You better start making some money. 
Which we are. Which is why I'm able to give stuff away. I wonder how much the auction's going to go for. Brixen has them upstairs. Grammy, they're upstairs. Brixen has them. First, he, he's used to these cards. So when I gave it to him, he literally stared at him and goes, like, I don't get it, Daddy. What are these? So I had to read the little, it came with a little, like a little card that explained what it was. Hey, does anybody have boys that's, well, Grammy, you have boys. Who else has kids? Um, that's an auto patch, Bonker. Bonk domination. He's already figured out his hit strategy. Yeah, I'll go get it, Grammy. If I can find where Bricks and put it, it might end up in the toy box already or something. Devin Funches, Art Nouveau, going into the hit stat for next week. Number to 249. So the reason I asked if anyone else has boys is because today was not a good day for him. He just was like, I don't know, just so easily emotional and freaking out and yelling at his mom. He's such a good kid. He never yells, never talks back. But today, this morning, because I sleep in and she takes him to school and does everything because the nanny comes later now. She said he was just super ornery and saying, I don't love you. You don't love me. Like, what? You have a six-year-old boy. Okay. So I'm taking it they go through those stages, and it was literally, quote, I told her, you know what? It was just one of those days. He literally woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, and I try not to take it personally. Like, I want him to be perfect, and I, I hope, you know, am I doing something wrong? Why is he saying this? Why is he acting like that? So, he comes around very quickly and realizes that, you know, words, words can hurt too. That's my lesson for tonight. So, no laundry tag in this bad boy. But I bet we get one out of the case. I just have a sneaky suspicion feeling. So we'll make hit stacks out of all these different colored. I don't think there was any green ones. There had to have been green ones. We'll also look for any variations. A bass guitar. Oh, Daddy, I don't love you anymore? Okay. That's good to hear. Good to know. I think he was saying... She doesn't love him. She's like, you don't love me. And that's what hurts even more. Like, what, kid? Are you kidding me? I try. You know what I tell him, Bonk? I say, the reason I'm disciplining you is because I love you. And one day, son, you'll understand and thank me. That's what my parents used to tell me. It's like when you become a parent, you start remembering and hearing things your parents always told you. This hurts me more than it hurts you. I have to do this. You'll thank me later. It's because I love you. All right, I'm going to get my monster music. What up, Chris? Do you like that, Jalen Strong? Come on, let's make history and pull a monster again. Well, we've already pulled laundry tags, one of ones. So pulling a one of one for fantasy wouldn't be any too much of a difference. I'm just saying, we could be opening up three more boxes of the Spectre tonight. <sighs> I would marry this stuff. I would marry Spectre. I hope something else comes out this year as good as this stuff. That I can get cheap, you know, pre-sale prices versus market price. This case went up a little bit, but not much. Danny Woodhead. Maybe Playbook will be dope. 
chicken parm. Grammy, are you allowed to eat chicken parm and freaking vegetables? Is that doctor approved? 44 of 99, Danny Woodhead. Nasty patch. Autograph. You know what we say about that, don't we? That's nasty. That's nasty. Congratulations. Sink swatches. Winston and Hunley. This is freaking great. This is the week TSB should have gotten in fantasy. I should have took that last spot. What am I thinking? Eli Manning to 99. And a Blue Ben to 49. Blue Ben to 49. Oh my gosh, you had to say it, didn't you, Bonk? Chicken parm, you taste so good. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I love it. Uh-oh, something wacky in here. Nice patch. Teddy and Stefan Diggs. I can't say that. Chicken parm, you taste so good. I love it. Here's James Allen. There he is, Jimmy. Freaking Allen Garoppolo to 75. Man, this is going to be fun, guys. Muhammad Sanu. Who knew? Muhammad is to 99. Oh, jeez. Marcus to 99. Man. I really hope something cool comes out like this. Mid to high end, 280 bucks, 75, 80 bucks a box. That's the perfect price point for breaking. Versus the $400 stuff. Jalen Strong to 99. Man, I love these blues. Look at this blue Brashad Perryman. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on with the break filling lately. I mean, I do know it's budgets. Everyone has a certain amount of budget. Brashad Perryman. Brashad is numbered to 15. Brashad has a little ding on this bottom right corner there. That's a first for Spectre. You don't see that too often, but the front is amazing. <sighs> yeah, Grammy bought in that one, didn't you, buddy? Well, you guys know me. If it gets low enough, I'd take the spots, but I mean, I don't really want to eat $400. Gail Sayers to 35 Tomorrow night, I'm painting my thumbs pink. No, I don't really want to take 16 spots. My mom's would just open up boxes if I'm going to do that. I mean, I wonder how much that would cost. $8,737,540,000. Woo! Sweet. Joe Montana to 10. Jesse James Auto. Steelers to 50. I know. I definitely should have. I took. We had to take, what, three spots last week. Yeah, how about the game tonight? The first four pitches, two home runs. Chicken parm, you taste so good. Thanks a lot, Bonk. I got that stuck in my head all night. How about a two of three, Leonard Williams? Jeez, I'm going to need crickets. My Trojan. 
Two of three, Leonard Williams. Damn. Two of three, Leonard. Very nice. $1.3 trillion. And check it out, fellows. We'll just end with a nice... Oh, I thought it was Marcus. It's Doriel Green Beckham. I thought it was Marcus. I got so excited. It's DGB. To 199 Chicken parm. Tastes so good. Maybe I, where can I, you know what I thought about advertising on? I thought about, what if I, but it probably would cost a lot of money, but do you think, I haven't looked, is there banners on FanDuel and, um, and, uh, those other fantasy websites? That's where I need to be. I'll put up some top shelf breaks banners, like show some really big hits with a thing that says you can get this card or cards like this, but they probably want $5,000 a month. That's the market I need to tap into. You guys do know this breaking thing hasn't even reached like less than 10%. Holy Rizzo. I love seeing my old condo at Wrigley Field when they show a shot of the city east towards the lake. You can see my old condo I used to live in. High rise. I miss it. Holy Schwartz. I mean, that shit hit my condo. Wow. Okay. Um, so let me find something. Let me find something to spice up the hit drafts this week. Chicken harm, you taste so good. Grammy, I have your other cards here. Or do you want those to be surprises? I'm not sure I'm liking this Cubs dressed in black thing. It should be Cubby Blue. I bet that makes its way around the internet. All right, we gotta do that, and we gotta do giveaways. Let me get some. I'll put these in for you guys this week. It's nothing over the top crazy. David Johnson Auto. 
LaShawn McCoy red to 60, and an Ozzie Newsome to 35. Still trying to figure out what to do with that fat gold pack. Oh, and an OBJ jersey. I'm going to put start putting those in the breaks. Maybe that will give guys incentive to buy in. Maybe I need to do, do more stuff like that again. More incentives, huh? Every spot you buy in goes in. I mean, I'm doing the leaf helmet stuff. we got to pick that, too. Stephen R., I know you're watching your show, but... Upper Deck Legends. 